I'm not okay because I, I don't know what I'm, I've done that will bring so many people. All right. Let, let, me, let me explain to you. You, you had the Inca, yeah. Samaria. Yeah. And the Inca, we're arresting you this morning for some off offences under the Terrorism Act, okay? What is that? Terrorism? Yeah. Let me explain to you exactly what they are. And then you'll understand why. Okay? Bear with me. Under Terrorism Act. He's going to explain it to you, okay? Just listen carefully. Thanks, So I've arrested you for encouraging terrorism and dissemination of terrorism publication. And that's contrary to Section 102 of the Terrorism Act of 2006. I'm also arresting you for possession of a document likely to be useful to a person committing or preparing or instigating an act of terrorism. And that's contrary to Section 58 of the Terrorism Act 2000. And for stirring up racial hatred which is contrary to the Public Order Act, section 19 and 21, Public Order Act 1986. Right, I suspect you have published this type of material online. Okay. Right. And the necessity for the arrest is to allow the prompt and effective investigation of this offence and to prevent loss or damage to property. Well, All right. So you do not have to say anything. It may be defence if you do not mention when questioned. Something which you later rely on in court and anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? I do understand, but uh, okay. can I can I just dress properly? Absolutely, you can. Yes. Captain, you got the keys. Uh, because I don't. What, what, I, I have publication online. I have my books. Yeah. That I've written, which are on Amazon. I don't do terrorism. Okay, so you have uh, books and publications which are online via Amazon. You say. Yeah, that's okay. what. And I I advocate for uh, Nigeria to return back to regional government, the system that we practice here in this country. Whereby you have the Scottish Parliament, you have the Welsh Parliament, you have the Northern Irish Parliament, and you have the parliamentary system. This is what I'm advocating for, that we should go back there, because this is when the British left in 1960. This is what we had before the Igbo suspended the system and introduced the unitary system. And I'm saying that so many Yoruba are all over abroad. We're well educated, we can find jobs, and then they are useful and they come into our space, they control all the jobs. And we are just wasting away everywhere. I gave my example. Show him it. Yeah. You have all the opportunity to talk about your political views and, and everything about Because it's, it's very... It's, it's but now is not the point for that, fella. Uh, so I want you to listen carefully to me, okay? Uh, I hear what you're saying. It's all been recorded. You've been cautioned. Uh, so you, you don't have to say anything. So I suggest right now that you know what's going to happen when we take you to the police station and we've got to talk to us there. But at this moment in time, it's probably not the time to tell us about your political Yeah, I do. I, I do. I do. do make, sure, but it's, it's, some, it's something that I can be called, I can be invited, that, that for police to come around. Yeah. There's nothing There's nothing that I do that are warranted terrorism. Okay. Well, so am I might be arrested. Right. I, I what might what be arrested. Hmm? What place do you want to go on? Please. What well, place? Where, where